Hey guys, this is just in your face tyranny going on right now. Right now in the Senate, there is a bill in Congress right now in the Senate, and it's called the National Defense Authorization Act. And the most controversial piece of that legislation is a provision 1301, which is co-sponsored by Senators John McCain and Carl Levin. And what it is is that it allows the military, get this, it allows the military to detain any American who is on American soil or happens to be anywhere around the world, doesn't matter, and detain them based on the suspicion that they are terrorists or working against the United States. And they can detain them indefinitely. They don't need to give them a trial or anything. doesn't matter. And it's all at the executive branch's privilege to do this. Okay? I mean, this is a total violation of the Constitution. It's a violation of the Fifth Amendment, which is a violation of due process, violation of the Sixth Amendment, which is, uh, you know, the right to a speedy trial, and the right, uh, and a violation of the Eighth Amendment, which uh, the Eighth Amendment calls for a prohibition against cruel and unusual punishment, and that is cruel and unusual punishment being detained indefinitely. So this is just in-your-face tyranny because you don't know how this could be spun. You know, people, the average American who may not be politically aware or involved, they may think to themselves, oh, this is probably just to protect us. You know, this is probably only aimed against Islamic radicals or Al-Qaeda. Well, it could go farther than that because um, I've been hearing from people such as Senator, Senator Rand Paul said, well, it depends if you have uh, a food supply lasting longer than seven days, if you have a lot of gun ammo, if you have a lot of guns, um, if you um, have any of that and there's more to it, um, then you would be under that reasonable suspicion and who knows what could happen. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is in-your-face tyranny and it's not being talked about on TV. This isn't something you're hearing about on the radio. This is ridiculous. The only way you're going to find out about this is on the internet, which is how I found out about it was on the internet. I mean, not even Drudge reported this. I didn't see a top headline on, on uh, indefinite detention of American citizens on American soil. You happen to, I mean, they're take, they think that the battlefield can be brought here onto American soil and that just there's a whole war going on around the world. I mean, do you people get this? I mean, to those out there, I know most of you watching this are aware but you know what, to some of you who are still kind of naive and you, and you don't think it can happen here, it can happen here. You're damn right it can happen here. Guess what happened to the Japanese during World War II? Japanese Americans, I mean. Guess what happened to them? You, do you remember an executive order signed by FDR himself, which interned tens of thousands, or I should say hundreds of thousands of Japanese Americans into internment camps after the Pearl Harbor attack? I mean, this is, it can happen. And... 1942, 1943, that wasn't too long ago. What was that? That was less than 70 years ago. I mean, it can happen again. Something like this can definitely happen again. And this is total incremental tyranny. And what's even more annoying was that there was a watered-down amendment that uh, co-sponsored by one of the Udall cousins in, in the Senate. I can't remember which one, either the one from New Mexico or Colorado. But he provided an amendment that would water down that provision and, and just basically void it out. And uh, Senator Rand Paul is also putting forth his own amendment, but it hasn't been voted on yet. But Udall's has just been recently voted on. <coughs> and, um, excuse me, and uh, it was voted down 67 to 31. Do you want me to read you the list of the 67 traitors that voted against this amendment? that would have voided out that provision, that unconstitutional, just tyrannical provision in that uh, National Defense Authorization Act. Let me just read you the list. And maybe one of those senators happens to be yours. And by the way, uh, let me just mention, most of the people that voted f in favor of the uh, provision were Democrats, and there were only two Republicans that voted for it, Rand Paul and Mark Kirk of Illinois. Uh, and I was very disappointed to see the likes of, of Jim DeMint and Mike Lee, uh, who were supposedly these constitutional Republicans, yet they voted against this amendment. Uh, it's sickening, unbelievable. So let me read you your list of 67 traitors. 
see who they are and um, which state they're from. And tomorrow, why don't you call their offices up and give them a piece of your damn mind? All right, let me read you the names, okay? Alexander, Tennessee. Kelly Iote, New Hampshire. This is somebody who said that. That we got to bring the war over here. You know, this is this is also included here on American soil. I mean, I read that some kind of quote she put out today. Uh, Barroso, Wyoming. Blunt, Missouri. Uh, Bozeman, Arkansas. Brown, Massachusetts. Mr. Scott Brown. Burr, North Carolina. K Casey, Democrat, Pennsylvania. Chambliss, Georgia. Coates, Indiana. Coburn, Oklahoma. Uh, Cochran, Mississippi. Collins, Maine. Uh, Conrad, North Dakota, Corker, Tennessee, Cornyn, Texas, Crapo, Idaho. I gotta call him up tomorrow. Uh, Dement, very disappointing. NZ, Wyoming, Graham, no surprise there. South Carolina, Grassley, Iowa. Hagen, another uh, Democrat. <coughs> uh, North Carolina, Hatch, Utah. Rhino needs to go next year. Heller, Nevada, Hoven, North, uh, North Dakota. Hutchison, Texas, Inhofe, Oklahoma, Inuit, Hawaii, Isaacson, uh, Georgia, Johans, Nebraska, Johnson, Wisconsin, Cole, Wisconsin, um, Kyle, Arizona, Landrew, Louisiana, Mike Lee, Utah, Le Levin, of course, Michigan, Lieberman, <laughs> Lieberman, Luger, Mansion, McCain, McCaskill, McConnell, Menendez, Moran, Nelson, Portman, Pryor, Reed, Risch, Roberts, Rubio, Rubio, Mr. Rubio, the guy who's supposed to be vice president, whoever's nominated to the GOP. Um, Sessions, Shaheen, Shelby, Snow, Stabenow, Thune, Toomey, Vitter, Whitehouse, and Wicker, and the two abstaining people are the two Alaskan senators, so they probably had better things to do. Uh, so just, yeah. You heard me call out one of their names, and if you want to check out the website yourself, if you didn't really want to listen to that long list of, I'm sorry, it was 61 people, not not 67, 61. It was uh, 61 to 37, so there's 61 of these individuals. So you found out that one of your senators or both of your senators uh, voted for this, or I mean voted against that amendment, and they most likely will vote against Paul's amendment because his is just... Basically the same thing, except more solid. So uh, call up your senator if you heard him. Call up their offices tomorrow. Let them know how pissed off you are. A lot of news out there to cover, um, but this is probably the biggest story of the day. Not because of who uh, Herman Cain screwed around with or uh, Michael Jackson's doctor. No one cares. Okay, this is news. So uh, thank you for watching this. I'm going to be staying on top of this story because this is big. I mean, this is real. This isn't some little conspiracy theory out of nowhere. All right? Stay tuned uh, and be aware.